Every time I come in the garage, music is playing. Whoa! Look at this. These are all car park boxes. God damn it, Kent. God damn it, Kyle. This episode is sponsored by Caveman Kent. We only do stuff caveman style. This caveman. Okay, so this episode is gonna consist of a lot of stripping it down to bare nothing. No front wheels, no rear wheels, no subframe, no axles. Uh, no sound deadening, no wiring harnesses. Get it stripped down to absolutely nothing so we can start from that platform and build it back up. We have like a really low weight goal for this car um, if we want it to be competitive-ish. But like 2,900 pounds with the driver in it is kind of the goal. So we're gonna strip almost everything out of the car. Caveman style. As you notice, there is seven or eight. Oh, fuck. That's why I always look at that's why I always look at the little screen thing because it's not in focus and then I gotta redo the take all over again anyways. In case you didn't notice, there are seven or eight boxes full of brand new suspension goodie stuff sitting around. We may get around to showing you that or we may tease you with it a little bit. Just tickle you right on the tip. Okay, man, can't you be out soon? And we'll start Macula Part 15. Let's go. Okay, man, can't. Does everything caveman stuff. Ooh. We're gonna pull the rear axle out of the car. That's where we're starting. Now, as you guys know, these were my slicks, but Kent sold them as a package deal with the wheels. So, I gotta get new slicks. Oh well. So I can't get really good footage underneath the car, so I can kind of supplement some under the car stuff with this new GoPro I got and uh, we'll give that a shot, test that out. Look, it's Kyle Vision. I duct tape it to my hat. We're gonna, we're gonna experiment with this, I think. Let's go. You want wrenches? We got some wrenches, bro. Here's one I asked, did you button everything up at the front and the rear end, Kyle? Yeah, 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 we're good. My ass is getting hot from this light. Sunshine, Dolly pops in. You win the axle shot. Yeah. Oh. Bitch. John Cena! Has he bought two Z ones? Yeah, I've been informed that the control arms are no longer needed, so we gotta rip those out too, because his ass bought new ones. I think he just took the Team Z catalog and he just opened it and he was like, I want one of everything. That's pretty much what happened. Yeah. I said full Team Z front rear with strange brakes, all four corners, make it happen. And they're like, what's your piece number, Kay? Okay, we're best friends. On standby. Borla exhaust. What are you doing, Kyle? I'm pulling off the A-arms because you bought new ones. And then we can pull this exhaust off because you're not going to reuse that. And it's being sold. And then these shocks can go. Getting rid of the exhaust first. Nice bare rear end. Take the shocks off. I'm and... not Ken. Oh no, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> So once again, I've come over and I make a gigantic mess. Fuck, no room for anything. Yes, yeah, so these are being cut off and it's hitting nine inch rear ends so that I can run strange brakes in the rear because they don't make a brake kit specifically for the 8.8 ins. It's also getting those uh, Team Z braces welded on and it's gonna get a different gear ratio. And as well, the axle tubes will be spun so they're correctly in there screwed in america america yeah that basically covers it but yeah it's still going to be an 8.8 .8. i feel like you're the spokesperson for team z now i feel like they should probably shout me out in on their facebook page <laughs> Mocula. loser loser so the rear end everything back there is bare so 
It's ready to be a pro mod. Just kidding. We're gonna start in the front in the engine bay and start taking out shit that we don't need, like AC, power steering, power brakes. All the electrical. Yeah, we're gonna- King member. We're gonna gut this bitch. I wish I had something cool to say. Where the fuck do you start? Garbage. Unnecessary shit. I'm gonna turn Kyle Vision on. Yeah, we're All those vacuum lines are gonna rip right out. America. Yes. Caveman style. Oh, my life is so stressful sometimes, man. You don't even get it. it sucks building eight second cars. Oh yeah, I want to give them the AEM wideband. What if I wanted the AEM wideband? Well, wide then band? have the AEM wideband. <laughs> yeah, you probably use it. Fuck. No, I'm gonna get a Haltech one for the can port. Disclaimer: This is not how you remove AC, but it's we're removing AC. We're, we're cavemen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you relieve pressure on it? I don't know. I don't want to stay with my eyes facing it. Well, no. I'll get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like dying. We can just leave it like that with the door open. <laughs> so obviously that was not the right way to discharge an AC. And I didn't expect it to be so explosive like that. So we're gonna leave the garage door open and let it air out for the next day and we'll be back tomorrow to continue <laughs> doing stupid shit. My keys are in there, fuck. <laughs> next day, you can see it's everywhere. So I'll take the blame for that one, that was my fault. I, uh, I just did a caveman style. That's all, that's all I can say about it. So I hear an airplane. I guess the plan's gonna be now to um, Pull the rest of the hoses and get it out and get it cleaned up so we can work with the garage door closed now because right now it smells like Freon, I believe it's called. And the reason we didn't work while we were in here and I was so worried about the fumes and everything is because Freon is actually known as a carcinogen, I believe it is, where it can cause cancer. So you don't really want to mess around with that. The battery's dying. I'm going to deal with this, charge my battery, and I'll get back to you guys ASAP. Okay, we can go ahead and pull this factory wiring harness out. It's ready to come out. I did some work while the battery was charging. I'm the real MVP. What's up, bro? Hey, me out. Uh, we're gonna pull the wiring harness out now. What the fuck is this thing? Douchebag stuff. Douchebag stuff. You're not using it anymore. It's not going on my Mustang build. You had zero windshield wash fluid. Probably doesn't work. Kobe. Holy fuck, man, you're on a tear. We have race cars. Kyle, he just shows up randomly and he said he's so productive. The more wiring than this. Holy fuck, man. I don't know, you're saving like 90 pounds of wire at home. Yeah, I think we should tackle that whole system up there. Just get rid of it and get rid of the ABS and let the, let the brake fluid drip out. Fuck it. Yeah. Moving the lines out of the ABS to drain it and then we're gonna remove it all because it's no good anymore. It's a pretty bullshit system anyways. And it's in the way of turbo things. Brake fluid smells funny. Your fuel lines run right through there too, so we can pull all those out too. All the factory lines. Yeah. Put on the whole time. Oh. I'm not sure, was it? Yeah. Oh, we ended it. What else? Man, my body needed to, I was hungover. Holy shit, cow. We ran our wide band <laughs> through the, I'm handy tired. Yeah, we're gonna, we need somewhere to put this to drain out. Fuck it, doesn't matter if it drains out of bucket, does it? No, fuck no. Ugh. ABS pump removal and lines happening right now. You fucking idiot. Fuck it with you again. <laughs> Two 12s and then a 10 randomly underneath. Bye bye. Bye bye. Fuck, that's like 10 pounds, man. Huh? Oh, it's a wheelie eliminator. I don't even know. Rip those brake lines up, yep. Whoa, big mess. How come these ones aren't out yet? Mm, that was clean. Oh, I thought you were taking those out. <laughs> yes, 
Look at all the weight, man. <laughs> I don't think brake lines weigh that much. But... Yes, they do. <laughs> we cleaned it up a little bit. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of scrubbing. Clean, bitch. K members coming out. Let's get some bolts undone in this bitch. <laughs> they look like 15s or something. I don't know. Fuck me. Damn it. God damn it, Kyle. This is Sparta. Let's see if it all comes down now. Going down. Going down. Why aren't we going down anymore? That's why I need a hammer. Ooh. There we go. Oh no. What? Fucked up the fender. Oh, can't. Okay. Okay, pull this jack out. That sucked. That's alright, you don't have to get painted anyways when I uh, make that hole for the exhaust. It's black. I made a ding. Made a rough ding. Oops. I'm an oopsie cat. Big ugly thing. Jesus. It's heavy. Stupid. Loser! Yeah. That's an empty bay. We did it. We did do it. I didn't do much. You did it. I'm sweaty. Cool. At least you have a good platform to start with now. Room for turbos. A big great K member now. It's huge. It is massive. Compared to the one we're using for a coat hanger on the wall over there. Next step, pull out all this interior you junk. Video of... No. Why? What are you doing to my shit pile? I bet you there's bolts on the other side of the firewall. Stupid ass thing. Yeah, there is. And it's not a tent. So many room for activities. And it's still stuck. This is like the dash all over again. Oh, I feel one. <laughs> yes, Kyle. Yes. <laughs> Pitch. Throw in the bin. Garbage. Wow, there's so much room now. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's your wide band. Goodbye. You just lost your man pedal. America. Action. It makes it way easy. Do you guys. Oh wow, look at that. Another piece of harness if you want to keep it. Oh wait. Someone was all the way to the back. Okay, final walk through the Makula. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, nothing in the back. Open this up. Whatever. Nothing inside. All the wiring harness, everything gone. No additional weights. Still gotta get the sound in here. Yeah. Nothing in the bay, no subframe, and now... Now here's your little teaser for next video. You did PCZ. Kent underscore Stacy on Instagram.